Welcome back to Datashark Academy. In previous lesson, we started the Zookeeper and Kafka servers on a local cluster, which is running on our personal machine. Now we are all set to start with creating Kafka topics. As you might remember from previous chapters, a Kafka topic is the basic storage unit in Kafka. This is where all the messages are stored inside a broker. All right, let's create our first topic now. To create the topic, here's the command Kafka hyphen topics.sh. And then it has a couple of parameters that you need to specify in order to create the Kafka topic. All right, before we start doing this in the terminal, I want to keep note of a few things. If you're using a sandbox Windows environment, then your Zookeeper server will be something like sandbox sandbox-stp.hortonworks.com and the port will be 2181. If you are on a Mac or Linux operating system, then your Zookeeper server will be running either on the local host or on this port 127.0.0.1 and the port number will be same as 2181. Alright, so I'm gonna show this to you on the Windows terminal, but you can run the same command on the Mac OS as well. Okay, so let's start with looking at how to get the server name, and you can get it from the Ambari dashboard. Go to the Zookeeper and click on config here. This is your server name. This is where Zookeeper server is running. Okay, and here is the port number. If you want, you can change the port number if it is busy, but I don't recommend you to do it. Okay, so now since Zookeeper is running and also our Kafka cluster is running, we can go ahead and create the Kafka topic. All right, so let me bring the terminal up. And in order to go to the location where Kafka topic.sh is stored, we need to change part to user sdp current kafka broker and bin all right this is where the kafka is installed on the sdp server if you are on a mac or linux computer then you will have something like user local kafka bin something like this okay all right, so now we are inside the location where the Kafka uh, topic script is. So we can simply go ahead and run this. So in order to run it, we'll use the Kafka topics like this. Let's put it in the next line. So that's why I'm using a backslash here. I want to create a topic. Um, and the zookeeper will be sandbox stp hardenbox.com to one eight one. Make sure the server name is correct, otherwise this will fail. Okay. We want replication factor to be set as one. We don't want any replication, but in production, ideal is three at least. Partitions, since this is a small uh, test, we don't need uh, too many partitions, so I'll set it as one. And the topic name will be, let, let's call this data shark topic. All right, enter. All right, so Kafka has created a new topic called data shark hyphen topic. Now, if you're not sure which parameters to use, you can simply do something like this and enter. Don't give any other parameters, just type enter. And you'll see all the parameters that uh, this particular uh, utility provides. Okay, so here you can see create. This is for creating a topic. We also have a delete. We will look into it later. Um, you have describe, force, um, lots of options are here. 
okay and you can go through them if you want just to get more idea about each of the parameters and what are the possibilities all right so now the topic is created let's create another one okay so I'll just change the topic name to let's say I want to keep it as data shark Academy so this is my second topic all right so now we have created two topics let me show you where the uh, configuration is for the Kafka all right so here I have changed the directory to the Kafka broker if you are on Linux then this will be something like uh, user local and Kafka and there you will see uh, all the same directories as you see here okay so now go to config inside config you have various property files okay now zookeeper properties are in zookeeper.properties file so if you open it here you'll see the port number that we are using okay if you want to change the port number you have to change it here or in the ambari dashboard terminal okay but I don't uh, think you will need to do it just uh, for the information purpose I'm telling you uh, for the Kafka the property file name is server.properties this is the one it uses and here you can see there are many properties that are set for the Kafka server okay so you can look through all these properties uh, you won't have to change it for these exercises but in future if you are deploying something in production you may have to tweak uh, these according to your configuration all right so it has all these uh, different kinds of uh, properties that your kafka setup is using all right all right so this is it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next class where we'll uh, see how to list all the different uh, topics that are available in the server okay i'll see you in the next class